However, in two-step equations, ladies and gentlemen, the, basically the, the idea, again, to remember is we want to isolate the variable. So basically, we, the main important thing that I want to, the reason why I wanted to cover two-step equations again is because when you're solving a two-step equation, we're going to use our inverse operations. Um, and also, we want to use the reverse order of operations, meaning when you look at this variable, you can see the variable is being multiplied by 1 half, and it's also being added by 2. Whenever you're solving any, a system equation, you always want to undo addition and subtraction first. So I subtract 2 on both sides. And when doing that, I now obtain 1 half x equals negative 9. Now, I also, cho I also chose this problem because it deals with the fraction, which is something that we're going to be dealing with um, quite a bit. So you can see here I have x is being multiplied by 1 half. So to undo multiplying, you could divide by 1 half, right? Or we could also think about this. The main important thing is we want to get the coefficient of x to be 1. So you could think of this as dividing. But if you guys remember, dividing fractions is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So anytime I see a variable being multiplied by a fraction, I prefer just to think of that as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, 2 over 1 is really just the number 2, right? So I'm not going to write it as 2 over 1 over here. I'm just going to write it as 2, because that's a whole number. So whole number times whole number make more sense. Then this multiplies to give you 1. And then your final answer is x equals negative 18. OK? Question of that?